What are you doing? Are you ready? It's getting comfortable, so. I'm getting comfortable. I might have a little sleep. We're trying not to waffle too much in this one because it was about an eight minute waffle in yesterday, so we'll try not to do that. <laughs> they've not seen that yet. Yeah, so. they've not oh, seen no, they that. will. They will have seen they that. They probably will have seen that yeah, already, yeah. won't they? Um, right, so this FN2 that we've tuned today has been here before. And last time we seen it, we fitted a four to one manifold um, and we tuned it up. Um, and we've done something similar today. We fitted a Skunk 2 Pro Series inlet manifold. And um, <clears throat> Richard? Yeah, the, the sort of issue with this car is we tuned last time, obviously, on the mods that it had. So it just got a silicon hose and a filter on the end of it. Uh, so no major induction kit. Uh, it had a M2 2.5-inch exhaust system. With We fitted the 4 to 1. Uh, did the clutch bypass pipe, I think, if I remember right. And then obviously mapped it. The car today has not actually made any power. And the, the, the side to that is that, as we always say, the first restriction is the restriction. I think what's happened here is, because the M2 exhaust system is only two and a half inch, I think that that exhaust fit system is backed up. It can't physically put the flow out. So where we are today is... So we've increased the flow. So we've increased the flow at the start. Mm -hmm. And then what that's done is that's backed up in the mid-range. So what you can see on the graph is there's two areas on the graph where we are actually making less power than we were previously making. Yeah. So as silly as it sounds, the original inlet manifold flowed better with the two and a half inch exhaust than the the two and a half inch exhaust flows with the Skunk Two. You're getting more air in. What that's doing is filling the exhaust up faster. So then you're getting that lull off. Then it equals up to where it was on power. Then it lulls off again. Then it equals up to power again. Mm. We're not made any peak power, and we've certainly lost a bit of power in certain areas of the mid range. I believe the reason for that is, like I say, it's just the exhaust itself is backing up because of the FN2 design and the amount of nineties that are in it. It just cannot flow in a two and a half inch form. So the bigger the exhaust, the better because of the bends. Yeah, well, you, because obviously the bends are more radius then because they're bigger, and you've got more volume in the exhaust before it becomes full on those bends. If you understand what I'm saying, where the restriction is. Yeah. So, like I say, we always suggest on these the, the like, take you a seventy mil, which today we've been informed after two months of waiting. Um, that they're on back order until the end of October. Now, Tegu were apologising their email to me this morning, uh, saying that, yes, well, we're sorry about that. The ETA is an estimate time of arrival. Yeah, I appreciate what ETA stands for. Yeah, yeah, we understand But my that. ETA, in my brain, is like, give or take a couple of days. Give or take a week. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we were sort of told start of August, end of August, start of September, end of September, uh, and then... We find out today that it's the end of October. Because, rightly so, I have a customer that's had a Tegua 70mm exhaust system on order for a little while. Mm. And as soon as I realised that we had a stock issue, I, 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 let the, I let the um, the customer know and said, are you happy to wait? And their obvious question was, well, how long? So I said, well, let me get an ETA from mm. Tegua for you. Got an ETA, end of August, start of September. Okay. I told the customer. Uh, the customer was like, yeah, happy to wait, Danny. Thanks very much. Then, 
because that ETA did change a little bit, and I told the customer that that's what had happened, the, trust, the customer took it upon themselves to contact Tegawood directly. Absolutely fine, we're completely transparent here. And they informed them that it was the end of October for that particular Tegua 70 mil system, which was the first I'd heard about it. So I sent an email saying, I've just been made aware that you've got a delay till the end of October. And they said, yeah, unfortunately, Danny, that is, that is the case. Uh, something to do with backlog of shipping containers mm. and things like that. And I'm like, mm, okay. So unfortunately, after this video, what I now have to do is go back through my orders and find my Tegua 70 mil sales, contact those customers and let them know that there's been a further delay and then ask them the same question again. Would you like to wait? Can you wait or would you like a refund? <coughs> Which to me is neither here nor there. We can refund them or they can wait. We're absolutely happy to do that. I think the problem here is it's not just Tegua that are suffering getting supplies of exhaust. No, no, I think no. it's over it's over and above the board. All the stuff comes from China, all the materials, whether it be aluminium piping that you buy, stainless steel piping that you buy, exhaust systems that you buy, intercoolers that you buy, anything that you're buying basically for that sort of stuff. Even a lot of the uh, air tech stuff all comes from China Especially as well. cats. So, you know, if they're making sports cats. Yeah, sports things. cats and stuff, again, they come from there. Everything comes from there. And because of the fact that they're having problems with sh shipping containers and they're obviously like, you know, you know, it's a backlog of everything. It's just that we're not getting it. We're not getting that stuff in. And it's, it's very difficult because under normal circumstances, say with an EP3 or, or something else, you know, like an Accord or whatever, we would be able to offer them an alternative. Mm. So, okay, the 70 mil is going to be another month. Can I offer you this? Mm. Fortunately, with the FN2, there doesn't seem to be an alternative available. Well, I mean, you've really pretty much got where we are now is obviously you've got the M2 and stuff, which to be, we say is not quite good enough when you've got these level of mods. You've got Tegu 70 mil, which I think is the best value for money and obviously having the 70 mil. Then we've got our 3 inch. Then you go up to 3 inch which and, you, and is, you're looking at, by the time you've gone solid fab, 3 inch, R 3 inch, sure. other bits like that, they're all up towards that £1,000 mark, yeah. which, you know, they start getting very expensive. It would not surprise me at all if... The Tegua, the Tegua 70 mil exhaust system becomes more expensive when they land. Oh, 100%. Now, we've got our orders in, so our prices are, are locked in. Our customers that have already bought them have paid for them, so that's cool. Mm. But I would not be surprised that as soon as they land and they have stock, that price of that exhaust goes up by £100. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, but it, their shipping costs. Are, is, their shipping costs are going to go. Yeah, well, it's supply they? and demand, and I don't blame anyone. You know, mm. if it's a, if it's a, we think. To be honest, they probably sold out since we told everyone it was the probably the best one to go for. Yeah, yeah. But um, we, we, you know, supply and demand, and, it, and if they've only got a certain amount of stock and it's very, very popular. I would imagine they would put the price up, but we'll mm. see that. I've seen that on Jap Speed and things like that. Yeah, hundred percent. Again, Jap Speed. You can't get a Jap Speed system for an FN2 at the moment. No. They're being redesigned. Some of them are even being redesigned. Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot going on, isn't there? Mm, yes. So that's a bit bad news, that. But uh, back to this car. Yeah, this car needs that exhaust system, doesn't it? And um, I think that's what's going to go. The customer's going to go for that next. Yeah, yeah. We definitely, we definitely said that last time the car was in. Yeah, he understood that. I mean, mm. he was like that this morning. He said, I still don't think the exhaust's going to be good enough. Yeah. But then he wanted to buy a Tegu 70 mil, but they haven't been available, so he exactly. couldn't buy one. Yeah. He would have had one fitted today had we have had one or could have got one. He would have had one fitted. He said that this morning yeah. when he first got here. But obviously, as we haven't been able to supply It's a shame, that, is it? Because we've always got the... At the moment, we're keeping the EP3 70, Tegu 70 mil in stock. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the only real other option is a great company called Piper, Mm. Uh, but it's a twin exit again, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's quality. That takes about two weeks from start to finish to make the Tegu assist, um, the um, Piper system. Yeah, the only ones we're getting are ones that are being made, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Should we have a look at the graph? See if we've got some guy coming up on us here. Yeah, okay, let's do yeah. it. Let's, uh, yeah. let's look at the graph and we shall... Um, yeah, we're we'll going to do that. Yeah, go on. Okay, brilliant. Thanks. Okay, so here's what Richard was talking about in the graph. And it's this area here that we've got a problem with. And this is what we need to do. We need to iron out that. Um, we've spent a long time trying to make the power there today, but it hasn't it hasn't quite come to fruition. So we finish on 216 brake horsepower, which is 184 at the wheels. And whilst that's only two brake horsepower down at peak, it's, um, it's still not the result we were hoping for, but obviously it's science. And we know that we could do better with a better exhaust. Um, yeah, so it's one of those, you know, you've got to take the rough with the smooth. And uh, I would show you the car, but it's gone. 
So, uh, so thanks for joining us. Um, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. And we'll see you on the next one. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. Miss it, miss it, miss it, miss it, miss it, miss it.